Hi, it's Mitch from PickDogs.com here with your free pick in the Braves versus Rays Major League Baseball matchup on Friday, June 14, 2024. If you like all the free picks we do at PickDogs, you'll love our premium picks, our best bets. Use the discount code PICK, take 15% off. We also have products meant for people that make bigger bets, people with big bankrolls, looking for that VIP style service. We offer these products. They're not available on the website under the premium picks tab. You have to text the number you see on the screen. These are more expensive than our regular premium picks. It's not a free pick. Line. But if it fits your budget and bankroll, by all means, text the number. But let's get to it. Braves taking on the Rays. It's Chris Sale on the bump for the Bravos, while it is Zach Littell on the mound for the Rays. You know, the Braves have really been struggling, and even going through the top of their rotation, they've been get, they haven't had all that much success. Of course, with the Strider injury, you know, and you know them trying a variety of different pitchers out there, it hasn't really been working out for them. And with the Acuna injury, it just seems that the lineup just is missing some pop. I don't think it's time to push the panic button for the Braves yet, but boy, you know, it is surprising just how poorly they have been playing. Chris Sale coming off uh, a two-run allowed um, outing against the Washington Nationals. Unfortunately for him, he got zero run support in that game, and the Braves lost that game 2-1, to one. so he took the L in that one. Surprisingly enough, in his prior game when he gave up eight runs against the A's, he wasn't the losing pitcher of record in that game, which is, which is crazy, and that's why starting pitcher, win-loss record, it does not matter. It is the most meaningless stat out there. Meanwhile, we look at sales numbers, the body of work, 3.01 ERA, 7... 74 and two-thirds innings pitched, just 59 hits allowed, 25 earned runs, just six home runs and 11 walks. So Sale certainly doesn't hurt himself, but he, you know, he can get hit from time to time. The thing is that we see a game where he gave up eight runs and, and it didn't really hurt him all that bad because he logs a lot of innings. He goes deep into games. He doesn't walk a lot of batters, so he doesn't go deep into counts. Super efficient with those pitch counts. In fact, that game where he allowed the eight runs, he only threw 71 pitches in that game in four innings of work. Last time out in seven innings of work, he threw 102 pitches, 97 pitches in seven innings, 103 pitches in seven innings, 92 pitches in seven innings. This guy throws less pitches in seven innings of work than most guys do in four or five. And that's pretty much the difference and why he is a number one starter in Major League Baseball. On the other side of it for the A's, Zach Littell, a guy that they were kind of counting on to get some things done, but he hasn't necessarily been there 100% of the way for them. Um, You know, he's been giving up about three runs each of his last three times out. He's given up some twos and fours, and that makes his ERA 3.63. Not all that bad on paper, but when you look at how he got there, 84 hits and 74 and a third innings of work, yuck. But the thing is, eight home runs allowed, not terrible. 12 walks for the season, fantastic. You know, and 30 earned runs crossing the plate. So he is allowing hits, but he's not allowing those free passes. So he's not paying the prices bad. If a guy hits a single, you know, there, there isn't a runner who, you know, got there on a walk, stole second base, and just automatically crosses the plate when he when when he when the next guy gets a hit. I think, you know, when we look at the way these teams are hitting the baseball, the Braves really not in as bad a shape as people think, hitting 240 as a team for the season, 230 for the Rays over the last 10 games. The Braves have played some tough teams that are 206, while the Rays 232, playing against some pretty stiff competition as well. Over the last five games, neither of these teams are hitting the baseball, both of them sub 200. I'll tell you what, I'm going to give the check mark to the Braves with Chris Sale, and that's going to be my free pick. Of course, while you're doing your picks, putting your bets in, be sure to use our free betting tools at sportschatplace.com. 100% free, and they'll help put you on the most favorable bets on the board today.